This demonstration will walk you through on how to create a guest post for a WordPress blog. The tips in this demonstration will help the blog author fill out the proper information so that the blog administrator will have an easier time of getting your post uh, reviewed and published so that the readers can go out and read your article. The first thing you want to do is you want to go into the WordPress site you've been granted a guest post for. In this case for the demonstration we're doing azmusicconnect.com. The login for the administration or to write a guest article is wp-admin on any WordPress blog. You'll see the login page which is a basic username and password page. Enter your username and password you were provided by your blog administrator if you don't know it. You'll have to ask your blog administrator. After entering your username and password, click on the login button. Now, if you were set up with a contributor account or an author account, you'll see just a limited amount of options on the WordPress administration. And the key one you want to pay attention to here is the new post up at the top right. This is how you create a new article for a WordPress blog. Click on new post. And then here is the WordPress editor screen. What you're going to want to do is enter the title of your article here. Well, let's say I'm doing a title on the musician Sting. You want to make sure that your title has basically eye-catching phrases or keywords, strong words about what the article is about. You want to limit it to no more than probably 10 words total. Keep it as short as possible because you don't want it to wrap around on a home page here. The body section here is your and your editors for where you entering your article itself. So you would type your full article and your drafts. You know, this is an article about the musician Sting who is producing a new album, etc. And you can use normal paragraph formatting information here. You have the ability to uh, bold, italic, you know, add bullet lists and, you know, bullet one, bullet two, etc. After you fill out the information here, then what you're going to want to do is type in an excerpt. This is kind of like a, a description or a summary of what the article is about. This is really important because Google will list this excerpt when you somebody searches for your article online. So you want to make sure that it's about a 160 characters, about 15 to 20 words, sometimes as much as 30 words describing what the article is about. Okay, so you basically have your excerpt, which is your description. You have your uh, article information uh, and your article in the body section, and you have your title. Some other things you may want to consider updating is the category. Always pick one category only, typically, for a post. The reason being for picking one category that best fits is because a lot of sites will list the category next to the article, and if you pick too many categories or more than one category, it can crush uh, the appearance of the way the uh, article looks. So typically pick one category that fits your article. If you can't find a category that fits your article, talk to your blog administrator and ask them what category the article should go in or if they can create a category for you. When writing your article, you can also leverage inserting images, which I recommend doing if you get a chance because they jazz up your, your article and they make them look better. To insert images though, as a contributor or guest author account, you might not see an insert image button. And if you don't see an insert image button in this case, what you have to do is manually call the image from somewhere on the web. You do this by clicking on the HTML tab, and then you would add an image SRC tag, and then the URL address of the image. And then you could click back on the visual tab, and you'll see the image is inserted. With the image inserted, you can click on the image, and then you could center the image. You can align it to the right, or you can align it to the left and have the text wrap around the image if it's aligned right or left. Typically, when you insert an image from another site, you have to use a free image or else you're stealing an image from another site. A lot of times you can use an image from Flickr or Photobucket or other sites, but you have to give image credit to the author. In this case, to give image credit to the author, you click on the image, you click on the picture button here, and under the image caption, you would go image credit author, and then just click up update. And then you'll see under the image, it'll show you a little image credit uh, information, and that's how you credit the author. As long as you credit the author of an image and the source of an image, typically that complies with most uh, copyrights when using images on other people's sites. But again, it's better if you search for free images or free image sites and, and use the image from there.
Another thing with images you want to do is check on the right side of the WordPress blog, you know, editor that you're in. See if you see a set featured image link. A featured image is a newer uh, option in WordPress 3 blogs and themes. And if you see that it's offered there, you do want to set a featured image because a featured image means it'll show up on the home page and it's basically it's how the blog theme uses it. So you always want to set one if one's available if you can. Some blogs won't grant contributors permission to upload images to posts as mentioned before. So when you click on set featured image, if you see an error that says that you don't have permissions to upload an image to the post, contact your blog administrator and see if you should have permissions to set featured images or if that is something you want to do. But if you click on set featured image, you should see the ability to upload an image from a computer or put in the image from a URL. When doing a featured image, you could only upload it from a computer. So it had to have been an image file you set and save on your computer. Upload your featured image by selecting the file and watching it upload. And then pay attention to the bottom options that you have. The only thing you need to click on is the Uses Featured Image button here. You don't need to click on Insert into Post unless you want to insert it into the post. And you don't want to click on uh, anything else. Uh, you can choose thumbnail medium size, but I don't think that gets used. Uh, click on Use Featured Image and you'll see it says saved and you'll see the featured image show up on your sidebar. Click on the X button to close out of the top window and once you see the featured image save here go ahead and proceed with the next step in creating your WordPress guest post. Last but not least you want to do post tags. These are kind of like the keywords that you want your post to have on the website and these tags should be about five to ten tags that are related to your article. So in this case, if it was an article about Sting, I'll put Sting, I'll put Sting Musician, Music News, Musician News, Musicians, News, about Music, Latest Music News, and then just click the Add button to add those tags to your article. When you're ready to submit your article, you'll see the Submit for Review button. After you submit your article for review, it goes into your blog administrator's account for them to review and publish or set your article for a date that it can publish. By using images in your post, by setting the tags, by setting the, the description, the summary, you save the blog administrator time from having to, you know, add that information themselves and optimize your post for when it goes public. So this is all information that can help your blog administrator. Again, when it comes to images, some administrators will have the blog where you can directly insert an image. Others will have the authority to let you set a featured image right from the post themselves. Check with your blog administrator if you don't know or if you should be adding images to posts. They would be able to help you uh, get that configured and set up. This has been a demonstration to show you how to create a guest post for WordPress blogs. Thank you for watching.